Creatives, how are you? Welcome back to the Nerd Creative channel, Build the Moomin House, Box 10, Part 4. In this video, we'll be completing issue 34 of the build. Grab yourself a coffee, sit back, relax and enjoy. So, in the last video, we finished this bathroom wall here. In this video, we're going to be completing the table under the kitchen sink. Here's the step-by-step -step instructions, and this is what we're aiming to uh, achieve in this video. So, let's put the magazine aside and start. So, we've got all our pieces here, and we just need to remove them with a craft knife scalpel as I like to call it there we go just remove all the pieces out there's a little nub on each one that's not been cut and that's how you separate them If you can see the little bit that's not been cut, that's the little knob that you need to cut through. You can hear it click as they pop out. There we go. So those pieces out. And these last two pieces here. Have them two out. So before we stick them together, if you notice on the sides, they're quite dark, let me just see. They're quite dark on the, on the edges. And we're going to be putting a colour wash over this. And you see the difference between the light wood and the dark wood. So what we need to do is we need to sand all the edges down. So this is going to take a while. So what I will do is I'll do a time lapse of me sanding them. And then I'll come back. these sanded now so all we need to do is to start to assemble them got a trusty wood glue there so firstly we need <coughs> excuse me we need this panel here and that needs to go here so a little bit of wood glue because it's gonna slot in there okay so and get some wood glue. I just need to grab my 
tweezers. Oh yeah, I see them. Start to assemble. Get the cocktail stick out. Right. Let's add some glue. We don't need a lot of glue on here because it's very small. So we'll get a blob of glue there. And that should be enough to move it around all the sections of this. There we go. That's enough glue on that. Okay, so this section goes on the long side in here it in place, make sure it's all lined up, there, okay, then we've got to put the two sides on, which are here, and here, grab your coffees guys, So we need to get some glue on a cocktail stick. I think this is the best way to do it. Yeah. Glue that. Some more glue on the cocktail stick. enough there. gently put some glue on there attach this side on to here push it in place there Add some more glue onto this side. And then put the other side on here. Make sure we've pushed in place. Spin that around so you can fit there better. Okay. Okay, now we get this part here. I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this to dry because we need to move it. So I'm going to leave it to dry and I'll come back. This is dry now, so what we need to do is we need to put some glue on top of these. So we put a blob on each. That's quite a big blob. And then we'll use this glue to spread it over the tops of all three of these. Plenty of glue on that. And then we need to turn it over and sit it on here. Like 
like so. Need to make sure it's lined up with the squares that are in place. There we go. Just hold it in place. There. Just slide it up that way a little bit. Make sure it's lined up on all four sides. There, it's very small. Make sure they're all pushed out. There. So we need to leave that to dry. That's dried now, so what we need to do is we need to attach the legs. And before we attach the legs, what we have to do is, I don't know if you can see, I've done this off camera. We have to draw a thin line down the front of one of the legs. Uh, so there's a gap at the bottom of seven millimeters. So then you draw your line up. So that, that shows you where the bottom shelf will go. This will sit where it needs to sit. So we'll start gluing these legs in now. So I'm going to make sure that's pointed out. So I'm going to add some more glue on a cocktail stick. Start adding the legs. And there we go. This is glue. So we need to get a blob on the square and then go up both sides where the legs will attach. And the next side here. Up side here. Let's get some more glue on the cocktail stick. glue on there, enough on here, then the next side on the square, and then up both sides, and then on the last one here, let's get some more glue. up there and then go up the sides, two sides, where the legs will attach. Okay, now start attaching the legs, making sure that this pencil line is on the outside. Let's get my leg in. Let's get another leg in. Turn it around. Let's get a third leg in. Oh, not straight. And get a fourth leg in. Seems to be tipping forward a bit. There we go. Just just them legs there. Need to remove some of this glue. That's the legs done. I don't know if you can see. That's the four legs in place. We just need to allow that to dry. 
and while it, dry, while it dries we'll put the drawer together. So this is the drawer, this is the front of the drawer and this is the back of the drawer. Let's clean up that. We need a little bit of um, wood glue for this section. it's inside it does so we'll glue the back of the drawer and slot that in to the back making sure it's sitting straight in the front of the drawer covers over the whole of the front. So let's get some more glue. We'll grab these two sides because they're not glued and we'll start putting glue over the front where the door the draw front will go. And then we'll stick the drawer front. Both sides look the same. Sit them in place. That. Make sure it's lined up properly on all four sides. Okay. That's it. And we'll leave this to dry and the drawer to dry. These have dried now so what we need to do is we need to put a wash on them so I'm gonna grab this trusty brown paint from caught this up quite runny actually Add a bit of water in there. We'll add some, we'll add some on the brush. Let's get like a dollop on the brush. And then what I'll do is I'll just swish it around, mix it up, and add some more brown from here. So we're creating a wash again, we're not painting it brown, we're just, just checking that it's a wash. Yeah, that'll do. So, what we need to do is we need to paint all of these, give them all a wash of this brown. There we go, that's a wash. just let it soak into the wood grains. I'm going to paint this as well because I missed painting this last time and I can finish this up as well which is part of box seven. I'll just give it a wash. There we go. And the drawer. So we'll do the tops of the drawers. Like that. So we'll come back and we'll, we'll paint the rest of it. Getting paint on myself there now. So what we could do is turn it on its top side. Now that the legs are glued on and we can give the tabletop a, a brown wash. Just let it soak into the wood. There. Sure, it's completely covered. We could do some other sides as well. Just creating that wash. It's pooling up a little bit. Let's just thin it down. 
through the legs sides some sides of the legs you need to do the side of the table top I'm holding the table very loosely because I don't want to I don't want the legs to come off okay that's them two legs done Let's see if we can do the other two hold it there and we do this middle section and the front the front there just let it just let it soak in soaking into the wood grain just giving it that wash effect Let's see if we can do this side as well So we get all the areas that we can see. There, that's all the areas that I can do on that. So I'm going to do the but the base of the draw. Make sure it doesn't pool anywhere. Maybe get the insides of the sides of the drawers done as well. Yeah. It's one, two, three, and four. There we go. And then we'll come back and we'll do like the other sides of this I'll just do the top of this while I'm here probably won't be seen because it's a draw and when it's closed but let's just let's just get these areas done as well here we go okay so we'll cover up the glue sorry the pen with the glue Give the brush a rinse and I'll come back. And we'll finish this painting. When it's dry, we'll assemble it all together. So these have dried now, so we need to paint on the sides that we haven't painted yet. So do the front of the drawer. Side of the draw. The back of the draw. And the other side. Now, we'll look at the table that we didn't paint. Underneath the table, I'm 
and we can do the edges of this shelf. And the other side. Make sure we're doing the wash evenly. That's all done. We're going to leave that to dry. Again. These are all dry now. I'm just going to slip this drawer in just to make sure it fits. It does. Okay, so we need to put the handle on the drawer. Need some uh, fast acting glue. So let me get these tweezers. I'm going to hold the handle in place there put some glue on it somewhere and do it there and then put the handle into the drawer <clears throat> put the drawer in the cupboard in the little table there it is there it's all done that's all complete and just to finish off i have to finish this from i think this is from box eight or nine it's a component that goes with uh that goes with a component from box seven which is on order so let's get these in place need to attach them here and put a little bit of glue on them there. Oops, got to move really quickly with this glue. Probably be easy with my fingers because tweezers are not playing ball. Get the next one in. This is a draw for a cupboard from box seven okay last one Let's just put that back on quickly we know how quickly that dries I just want to Tap these in.
there we go little handles on that that's finished <clears throat> and a little handle on this and it opens you just give that a little push that just opens and closes that little there we go And this completes, you can see there at the bottom, this completes issue 34 of the build. In the next video, we'll be starting issue 35 of the build. I'd like to thank you for your company. I'll see you in the next video. Stay creative.